Yo, what is up, guys? We are back for more Dokkan Battle content. And today we are going to be looking at the superhero category, or as I think everybody in the world likes to call it, the best category in the game, best team in the game. Um, yeah, like, nah, it's undeniable. Like, it's actually, it, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> this team is so insane. Like, it's so insane. Now that LR Beast Gohan, best unit in the game, dropped, and LR Gamma 1 and 2 dropped, they could be number two, they could be number five. They're within the top five. I'll say it like that. Like, this team has so many hitters, it's insane. This game has, this team has two full NBA team rosters full of just good options. Like, for real. I like, we, we could start with the obvious ones. I mean, LRB's Gohan and Gamma winning too. I, 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 I mean, I've already talked to Death about Beast Gohan, and he's only been released for not even a full day yet. Uh, this guy is undisputed number one. Uh, go check out my 55% video if you have not. Um, undisputed number one. Not even joking. Undisputed. There's no if hands or buts about. Like no, 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 no. He's number one. This is one of the. This is one of the few times in Dokkan history where it's just like, nah. Like he's number one, and he's head and shoulders. Above everyone. I think I've only seen this with STR Gogeta. I think LR Kalen Khalifla was head and shoulders above everybody. And then I think the seventh Annie LRs. That's the only three times. So now we have a fourth time. Yeah, this guy, this guy is insane. Absolutely insane. Now, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, they are a very complex unit. But my God, they are good. Um... My only complaint with them, I guess I don't like that they get their damage reduction if you attack three or more times. So, like, their very first turn, they can definitely get caught. Definitely. It can happen. Um, But, like, once you get the standby with this guy and you go into the, um, where is it? You go into the standby where Gamma 2 is charging up the, um, what you call it, the kill shot or whatever that he does to sell max. Um, This when they start getting crazy. You get 50% damage reduction, blah, blah, blah. Um, Yeah, like, they start getting pretty crazy. And then another form, you exchange into just Gamma 1 now. And Gamma 1 gets all this damage. So he gets 15% here, 15% damage reduction here. When, 30, when HP is 30% or above, which it's superhero team, it's never going to fall below that unless you're just straight up dying. 15% here, so he's at 30. And then down here, right? Um... 20% increase in the activation probability of crit. So 20% crit for each um key sphere obtained and damage reduction increased by 10% up to 50%. So he can have 80% damage reduction. And this guy has supremely high defense. Like he I, I can't I can't call him Beast Gone because it takes a little bit it takes longer to get here for him. However, he's certain when we get here, he's certainly in that realm. Hundred percent. So yeah, Beast Gone, number one in the game, undisputed. The Gammas, definitely top five, could definitely be number two, hundred percent. Um But then let's take a look. Let's look at Orange Piccolo, right? Orange Piccolo. I just X the tab out. Okay. I'm so excited, I just X the tab out. Orange Piccolo, right? Orange Piccolo, the GOAT, has finally been dethroned. He has finally... His spot has finally been taken. However, Orange Piccolo is still that guy. You still need to respect him. Will definitely tank well in the beginning of fights and decently well afterward. Beast Gohan can protect this guy even more. Um, He still has the giving key mechanic, which is still amazing. He still has this if your HP falls below 30%, but honestly, on this team, that's not going to happen. Um... He still has the Orange Piccolo active skill, which is still godly. It slows the game down to a crawl, but it's still godly. Like, he's still him, okay? Orange Piccolo, Piccolo Power Awakening is still that guy. He is still that guy. But really, the biggest come up for the superhero category, LR Ultimate Gohan. The original supposed to be LR Beast, but ended up just being the active skill. This guy was, even without Beast, like, 
not even mentioning Beast, this guy was just memed at just not being as good as Orange Piccolo on release. This guy was just memed, and he kind of fell by the wayside. Well, with the release of a certain actual Beast Gohan, you know, that doesn't need to transform into Beast Gohan, that is just, you know, Beast Gohan. I, I, I bear in mind that this is just Beast Gohan. Um, <laughs> this guy gets saved. So, number one, they share six out of seven links. Wonderful. This LR Beast Gohan covers up two of the three Ultimate Gohan issues. Number one, this LR Ultimate Gohan had very bad key issues. Incredibly bad key issues. He no longer does because LR Beast Gohan will A, share six out of seven links with him, and B, gives him three key when LR, LR Beast gets hit, right? Number two, um... Gohan had a problem with tanking supers and normals and stuff like that. Now, with LR Beast throwing him in slot one, taking the brunt of all the attacks, and him having a super duper easy active skill, just get hit once and you get it the next turn. Um, All the attacks go towards LR Beast and he's tanking it all, which saves LR Ultimate Gohan from being attacked, which can allow him to build up for a little bit longer. And his other problem, I, I mean, you can't really fix that, but, um, well, no. I guess you kind of can fix that. Um, well, nah, you really can't. You can't fix it. Uh, each time he activates, he does a super, he gets attack and defense by 30% up to 150. The problem is it's not just an attack, it has to be a super attack. And he performs an additional, but it's like, it's only a great chance. He had a 70%, but it could also, you know, not proc, and he just doesn't. He does a super and then two normals, and then he'll only get one buff of this. So it's like, that part, LR Beast can't really help too much. But, um, I mean, LR Beast, he covers up two of the three weaknesses of this guy. So uh, this guy is actually an option now. He's legitimately, legitimately an option. And that, within of itself, is insane. and just goes to show why LR Beast Gohan is number one. And then, like, let's look through the rest of the category. Krillin and 18 incredibly solid banner unit incredibly solid that they're, they're not golden frieza level in my opinion but they're still very good they support beast going very well for two turns and they have 60 percent chance to dodge so like it's really up to chance with them but like they can get you out of a spot they can definitely uh, you have evolution blue vegeta and blue kaioken goku easy a I, they hit like a freight train. They're probably the hardest hitting unit in the game, probably. You have Bardock and Gine, who's okay. Uh, this Gogeta is incredible. I mean, yeah, no, he's top five. Definitely, he's top five. Definitely top five. You have LR, SR, UI, Goku was incredibly good. Um, LR Universe 7 could be getting an easy A as well. 17 and 18 have really found a good resurgence, I will admit. This guy's still solid. Um, you're uh, you're not too crazy. Y'all aren't too crazy. They're still really good. They got, I guess, hurt a little bit by LR Beast's um introduction into the game. But like they're still good, right? You're still solid. You're solid. You two are still good. You're still good. You're usable. Uh, let's keep going. You're still a top unit. You're you have gotten a big resurgence. You guys are usable again. Um, I never thought you guys stopped being usable. You're still okay, right? Depending on the boss, Tegagoku could still be okay. They're not the worst unit ever either. Uh, these two are getting their easy A's this celebration. So these two could be the best easy A's in the game. Like, the superhero category is already insane and it has so much more potential it's crazy because the ui goku fight when he first transforms and fights jiren is largely untouched with good animations we could easily get another one we could easily get another one right we could get a um what you call it uh we could get a whole bunch of tournament of power stuff we get a whole bunch right we could get a UI Goku. We could get, I mean, we could get a evol we could get a regular blue Vegeta again from the tournament of power. We definitely could. Um, 
yeah, I like there's a lot of avenues they could go with that. What I think would be a really cool idea if they do like a god Goku that swaps in a blue Goku and like they he swaps back and forth each turn, like what he did against um Dispo. So he fought Dispo in god form and was more um defensive minded, kind of. Um, and then like you know, reserving his energy. Reserving his key. And then when he went blue, he would go on offense. So I would, I think a card like that would be pretty cool. It'd be a little wonky. You'd have to really, like, be aware of what's coming next for him. But I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, I, I guess maybe have him transform, like, every two turns. Like, I guess. Or every three turns, I guess. Um, I, I think that would be pretty cool, to be honest with you. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, I mean, who else could we get... We could get a Super Saiyan 3 Goku that fights Beerus. We could still get that. Um, I'm, Well, that would more so probably be like a banner unit or something. Um, I, Like, there's so many avenues we can go for this. It's honestly insane. And we still need a standalone orange Piccolo. We still need a standalone version, right? So, like, there's so many avenues they can go with this to where, like, it, it it's insane. The amount of stuff they could do. We could still get a blue um, Kaioken Goku from the Goku Black arc. Um, what what you call it? Uh, yeah, like we could get that. We yeah, there's a lot of avenue. We still need a standalone blue Gogeta. We still need a standalone version. So there's plenty of avenues they could go with this. Plenty of avenues they could go. Um, yeah, superhero category is just indestructible. It's the best category in the game. Yeah, honest, is it better than Pierce Saiyan? I would probably say it is. Is it? Let's look at Pierce Saiyan real quick. Let's actually look at Pierce Saiyan really quickly. Um, Pierce Saiyan, Pierce Saiyan, Pierce Saiyan. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I don't know which one is Pierce Saiyan. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Is that one okay? This is Pierce Saiyan. This is Pierce Saiyan. Um, I don't know. Pierce Saiyan really is tough. Pier See, but they don't have the gammas. They don't nah, yeah. Superheroes is better. They don't have the gammas. They don't have beast. That's really all it is. They don't have gammas. They don't have beast. So, I'm yeah, that's really what it comes down to. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the superhero category. Um, Yeah, I, I see nothing but great things for this category in the future. And it's already the best category in the game. Best team in the game. Uh, like and subscribe for more Dark on Battle content such as this. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I love y'all. And I'm out. Peace.